2,000 ton train can stop in just 500 meters. How does it do it? Inside the locomotive is a powerful air compressor supplying pressure for the brakes. The motor drives a spiral compressor sending air through pipes to every car. Valves between cars prevent pressure loss if disconnected. The left air tank stores 130 liters of high pressure gas for braking. The right 80 liter tank is for toilets. Key parts are the distributor valve and piston. When the train runs normally, the piston is at the bottom and brakes are released. When the driver applies the brakes, the piston rises, sending air to the tank and all eight wheels. Air enters the brake pipe, moves the diaphragm, pressing the brake pads firmly against the discs. Friction slows the wheels and the train gradually stops. As long as there is air pressure, the train stays stopped like a handbrake. To start the train, the piston lowers, releasing the brake pads. That's why trains make a hiss sound when starting. This is the secret that lets a 2,000-ton steel giant stop thanks to coordinated air pressure and mechanical brakes.